CES returns to its in-person format this year after the world's biggest trade show went digital during the pandemic. And there's a lot to catch up on and here to break down the latest plans and all the tech trends to watch in 2022 is Gary Shapiro, CEO of the Consumer Technology Association. So Gary, there's a lot of excitement. I think a lot of people are really happy to be going back in person. Can you talk a little bit about the big tech themes that are on your radar this year? Well, first, thanks for having me. We are so thrilled at how this is developing. Um, the momentum lately has just been extraordinary with hundreds of companies signing up in the last, to exhibit in the last 30 days or so. It's really just showing people want to be together with each other. They want the joy of discovery. They want that five sense experience of a trade show. They want to have those relationships built that are so important that we've all <laughs> suffered from for almost two years now that are lacking of a face-to-face trust somebody experience, learn about something new. In terms of the themes um, we're, we're seeing emerge post pandemic or, or near the end, hopefully of where we, where we were, uh, is there's a lot of uh, trends focusing on chips. We're seeing um, different things in terms of, uh, there's a lot of discussion there, all the chip companies are in in different ways. Uh, we're also um, having, we have new categories that we're showing. Uh, food tech, we have a lot of uh, solutions to world problems with food or even problems locally. Uh, space tech, we've, we've, you know, we're really good at, at, at um, transportation. This is our largest auto section and mobility section, uh, since even bigger than 2020. But here now we're going to the air with different forms of air mobility, but also space, including how you get to the space shuttle and back. Uh, we even have a, a rocket ship essentially being shown there. Uh, NFTs, the metaverse, these are real big categories. And of course, health is so big. Uh, obviously, this is what we lived the last couple of years, but tremendous changes in two years in terms of how healthcare is delivered using technology with telehealth, with remote monitoring, things like that. And of course, the smart home, because people have stayed home, they've invested a lot, and there's a, not a lot of new solutions out there, and companies want to show them, they want to expose them to all the tens of thousands of retailers, media, investors, and potential partners that come to CES. Right, and you mentioned, you know, a, a lot... <laughs> A big theme about chips and a lot of the chip makers and you know as as you know the the shortage that has happened over the last year has really impacted a lot of companies a lot of consumers as well what's been some of the chatter in the industry about how to rectify that and what do you maybe see the discussion continuing uh, at ces certainly every major company is investing every major chip company is investing in additional capacity but that takes a year or two or three uh, and it's very, very expensive. Um, but the demand is increasing as, just think about it, if you have fixed capacity and a 20% increase in demand, where does that go? And of course, as we know, the car companies themselves, they focused on chip investment and improving um, how they've done things in the past with regard to how they order chips and what the relationships are. So there's a lot of focus on chips, but the bad news is the short term, the problem's not going away. You know, it could even be worse. Uh, but the middle to long term, we should be able to solve the problem. But still, it's not changing the arc of innovation in the sense that we are going to uh, deal with this and have increased demand for chips as we go along. And it's also become a national economic imperative that countries and are focused on as much as companies. So people are rushing to build chip factories, but it takes time. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned uh, a, a lot of excitement, a lot of companies really uh, signing up here. Uh, to exhibit, um, what are some of the notable keynote speakers that uh, you're excited about and that you think investors should be aware of? Well, our opening keynote is uh, Mary Barra of uh, GM, and and she, you know, she keynoted in 2021 January and uh, digitally, purely digitally, and, as the whole show was, and and announced that their huge focus on electric and that just pumped the stock price up immediately. And others have followed, and so there's a huge focus on electric. And she'll be coming back to show off one of her new cars. Uh, and then, of course, we have Samsung's uh, one of their top leaders speaking about uh, how they're what Samsung's doing for climate change and some technology. And one of the leaders of the telecom world, um, Mike Sievert, the president and CEO of T-Mobile. But there's so many people, including uh, one of my favorites is Carmichael Roberts. He runs the uh, so many different things, but one of the major Gates uh, investments, as well as several of his own companies that have exhibited CES and are solving major world problems like 
a, pro, a product they, they, they demoed at CES a few years ago is now a reality across the world and takes air and turns it into water. Uh, we also have the first healthcare C noter ever. Uh, Robert Ford, the CEO of Abbott, the healthcare company, uh, he'll be there and talking about all sorts of things that Abbott is doing to make the world better. And we have a lot of uh, great uh, C space storytellers. This is the C, the C space is where we have the chief marketing officers from all sorts of countries around the world and the content creators, as well as the platform providers. And they all come together because the world of marketing is changing virtually every minute. So they, that's why this event has become one of the largest events for marketers in the world. And that's physically separate from a lot of the CES, uh, but it's our biggest ever. And we got a lot of major big names there. And we have so many other big names, including we will be announcing cabinet secretaries and government officials from around the world, as well as other business leaders. I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds of speakers, every one of whom is an important visionary in their own right. You know, and I have to agree, it, it is really exciting to go to these conferences and see these ideas, you know, in their early stages and to see them come to market and to fruition. It, it is really exciting. So Gary, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. I will as well. And you can follow all of our CES coverage over at investors.com. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alexis Garcia. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.